In this video, let's see another type of matrix called as the diagonal matrix. We have already seen in the previous videos three important types of matrices called as the row matrix, the column matrix and square matrix. And in this video is the continuation to the previous ones. Here we are going to study what is known as the diagonal matrix. Now let's see what is the definition of diagonal matrix. I have already told you in the square matrix what do you mean by the principal diagonal or the leading diagonal? That knowledge will be helpful in this video of diagonal matrix. Right. Diagonal matrix is what? A square matrix Aij n by n. That means a square matrix of order n is called a diagonal matrix if all elements except the ones in the leading diagonal are 0. I repeat it again. That means diagonal matrix is basically an extension of square matrix only or it is related to square matrix only. The only thing that you need to consider here in this case is that whatever elements are there in the leading diagonal, they are non-zero, rest are all zero. Still not understood? Let's see it. That means if I have a matrix A and it is denoted as Aij, the order would be what? It would not be m by n. It would be rather n by n. Why? Because diagonal matrix is a type of square matrix only and in square matrix the rows and columns are same. Now A is equal to Aij n by n is diagonal matrix when, when it has the condition that the value is 0 for all i not equal to j. That means suppose I have a matrix C, the elements are such that it is 8, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 5. You see it is a square matrix? Yes, because the number of rows are 3, the number of columns are 3, it is 3 by 3, yes it is a square matrix. Square matrix, okay. When will it be the diagonal matrix? When all the elements, all the elements except the ones in the diagonal. Diagonal is what? The diagonal is the leading diagonal that you need to consider. The diagonal is the leading diagonal which is 8 minus 1, 5. It is not equal to 0, no, no element is 0. The other elements are 0, so it is a diagonal matrix. Another example of this, suppose we have a matrix D and the matrix is 1, 0, 0, 5. A11 is 1, A12 is 0, A21 is 0 and A22 is 5. Now in this case, what is the order? The order is the rows in the columns. Number of rows are 2. Number of columns are also 2. So it is a 2 by 2 matrix. And in this 2 by 2 matrix, I know that the leading diagonal or the principal diagonal is what? It is 1 and 5. The elements 1 and 5 are not equal to 0. The rest elements are 0. So yes, this is a diagonal matrix. One more thing after the representation and after the examples that you need to consider is, suppose I have a diagonal matrix of any order, say order n. This is of the order 3. This is of the order 2 that we took, right? Suppose I have a diagonal matrix of not order 3 or 2 or 4, but of any random order, say n. So how to represent? Representation is very simple. I will show this with the help of example, then we'll generalize. See, here it is a 3 by 3 matrix. So it is shown as C is equal to diagonal. D-I-A-G is the short form of diagonal. What are the elements in the order? A11 is H. A22 is minus 1. And A33 is 5. So you can show it in this manner also. Writing C in the below manner or in the above manner is same. Right? Similarly now guess yourself how to write D. D is equal to diagonal in the bracket what you will have the elements of AII. AII wherein I is equal to firstly 1, then 2, then 3 and so on. 
So a i i means when i is equal to 1, a 1 1 is 1, a i i when i is equal to 2, a 2 2, second row, second column is 5. So again writing d in the above manner or the below manner does not change anything, it is the same. So one thing very important that you need to consider that yes diagonal matrix is possible only for a square matrix. The other thing that which diagonal to consider? The leading diagonal or the principal diagonal not the other way around. So in this video we saw the fourth important type of matrix called as the diagonal matrix. In the next video we will be seeing the next important type called as the scalar matrix.